On the 19th of December 1981, the cargo ship Union Star was on her maiden voyage from the Netherlands to Ireland. She was carrying a crew of four led by Captain Henry Morton. Also on board were the captain's pregnant wife and two stepdaughters who'd been picked up on a stop so they could spend Christmas together. As the weather worsened off the coast of Cornwall, the Union Star suffered engine failure and was driven towards the rocky shore. Facing hurricane force 12 conditions, 90 knot winds and 18 metre waves, the Penn Lee lifeboat Solomon Brown and her crew, most of whom were born and raised in the small fishing village of Mausel, launched on one of the most challenging rescues ever attempted. Led by coxswain Trevelyan Richards, the crew rescued four of the eight people on board, but rather than turn back to shore, they made a final heroic approach before all radio contact was lost. Ten minutes later, the lights of the Solomon Brown disappeared. Eight brave men, all volunteers, made the ultimate sacrifice that night. Coxon Trevelyan Richards was posthumously awarded the RNLI's Gold Medal for Gallantry, and the rest of the crew, Stephen Madron, Nigel Brockman, John Blewett, Charles Greenall, Kevin Smith, Barry Torrey and Gary Wallace were awarded bronze medals. Their names are inscribed on the RNLI Memorial in Poole, Dorset. Every year on the 19th of December, the Christmas lights at Mausel are dimmed between 8 and 9 p.m. in memory of the 16 people who lost their lives, leaving just the cross and angels shining down over the village and out to sea. On this, the 40th anniversary of the disaster, the last time the RNLI lost an entire crew in action, we honour their incredible valour with a special book of remembrance, a place to share memories of that fateful night and to celebrate their lives and courage. They will never be forgotten.